Saturday, July 9th, Giovanni is back in Pokemon Go, and he is packing a Shadow Latios with him. Now, of course, people want to know, is Shadow Latios worth the Super Rocket Radar? Do I want to get Shadow Latios to use it in raids or in PvP? Well, in this video, I hope to answer that question for you by taking a comprehensive look at Shadow Latios in both the raid scene and in PvP. So taking a look at Shadow Latios in the raid scene, you can see that it's not exactly number one on the list, but if you cut out the Mega Pokemon and Pokemon that aren't in the game yet, it is the third best Shadow Pokemon as far as being a Dragon-type attacker goes. Now, unfortunately, it is beaten out by Shadow Salamence and Shadow Dragonite, uh, both of which are more like common than Shadow Latios. You're probably only going to get one Shadow Latios, maybe a couple if you're really dedicated to getting Shadow Latioses. Uh, but then you have to power it up which means you have to get the candy and then arguably the XL candy. So I think Shadow Latios is just kind of living in the shadow of the other shadows too much to really be worth the raid investment, in my opinion. And then also interesting thing to point out too is uh, Shadow Latios's performance is uh, behind Mega Latios's. Usually the shadows outpace the Megas. Like you can see Shadow Salamence here, and then you got Mega Salamence down there, right? So it's not even beating out its Mega. Like... Is it worth it? I mean, if you're really into Latios, you're like you're a Latios enthusiast and you love Latios and you want to use Shadow Latios, so you've got a really good dragon type attacking Latios, by all means, don't let me stop you, but not the greatest. Swapping over to the PvP side of the pond here, I think Shadow Latios uh, stands out a little bit in the Great League. Now, overall, dragon type Pokemon, Dragon Breath users, they're not in a great spot in today's meta. I mean, you got Wall Rain, you got Wall Rain, sweet Jesus, you have Wall Rain. And then on top of that, you got Registeel and, you know, Galar Stumpfisk and you got Sableye literally freaking everywhere. Trevenant, Trevenant, right? So being a psychic dragon Pokemon, it's not a good look in today's meta. However, Shadow Latios does stand out in that it is a Dragon Breath user that uh, packs a pretty powerful punch on Registeel here. Now, in the one shield situation, you see that it's not beating Registeel. Even if Registeel has like bad IVs or something, you shouldn't be beating Registeel in this situation. Uh, but when it comes to the two shield situation, you are actually able to wear down the Registeel. Now, the big thing that Latios has going on in regards to that is that um, after a single zap cannon, your Dragon Breath damage is still two. So it goes from two damage to two damage. And then after the second zap cannon, you're still at two damage per Dragon Breath, where most Dragon type Pokemon at this point would absolutely be down to one damage per Dragon Breath. And obviously that damage adds up, which allows you to take on Registeel in a two shield situation, which is uh, you know an interesting thing to consider for Shadow Latios here. Another thing to mention about Shadow Latios is that even though in today's meta, in the current state of the game, uh, being a sub psychic Pokemon isn't that great, being a dragon type Pokemon isn't that great, but when it comes to limited formats, it is a fairly unique typing that Latios has here, the dragon with the psychic, and you can't get a Latios into Great League PvP unless you trade for the old research Latios, right? So, First, you have to find somebody that has one, and then they have to trade it to you, and you have to hope the IVs roll low enough so that it fits in the Great League to begin with, uh, where Shadow Latios is just going to fit right in, right out of the box. So you get a Great League Shadow Latios, a Great League, I guess, Latios. You can't purify it, because if you purify it, then it's going to power up too much. Um, but for having that unique typing and that unique kind of roll, uh, I think it is a an interesting option, a desirable option. I think you should go for one. If you are into the Great League PvP, uh, if you're a Great League enthusiast, Shadow Latios is absolutely worth it. And then, even in the open meta, it can do goofy things that, you know, the opponents aren't expecting, like beat Registeel in the two-shield situation. And then here you can see that you do bring it down to, like, 13 HP, so in an uneven kind of situation, you could see how Latios could even pull ahead against Registeel as well. And then you got the big Luster Purge to throw at stuff too, which is pretty interesting. So I think overall, Latios, not a top Great League performer, but a very good Pokemon to, you know, just having the, having the satchel there, ready to whip it out, should the meta call for a Shadow Latios. Now, when it comes to the Ultra League, I don't think Shadow Latios brings anything to the table that Giratina doesn't already bring. So I don't think that it'd really be worth it in that format. There really doesn't seem to be a lot of like unique qualities that Shadow Latios has over Giratina that really warrants using it. So 
Personally, I think I'd rather stick with my one and only Shadow Latios sticking in the Great League. I don't think it really brings any fire to the Ultra League meta. And then bumping up to the Master League meta, it's a Dragon Breath user that's weak to Dragon Breath. Like, oh, are you expecting Shadow Latios to just do some crazy brand new thing and just blow your mind? It's, it's not going to. So save yourself the Stardust and the XL candy and the time <laughs> and I guess the money because getting all that XL candy uh, is probably going to cost you some. If you see my video breaking down the cost of these Mega XL Pokemon, I don't think it's worth it at all. It could possibly be worth it though if you get like a really good shadow you know latios here and you're like oh man i got like the 15 15 15 i don't know you get a really high iv shadow latios it could have some niche utility in the mega master meta as like something to pair up with a mega gyarados you're not going to beat mega gyarados with the mega latios because you know it resists it doesn't resist but it's not weak to the dragon breath you are weak to the dragon breath um but it does hurt gyarados pretty well and then it can manage some of the Pokemon that are meant to counter Gyarados uh, in a different way, or at least draw them out so you can take care of them and then pave the way for Gyarados' victory later on in the match. It could work out that way. Does it work out a whole lot better than other Dragon Breath users? Not exactly. Is it worth your, you know, Stardust and XL candy to pursue this meme? I mean, maybe if you got the Hundo. Maybe if you got the Hundo. But chances are you're not going to get a really high IV Shadow Latios, so it's probably not even going to be an option for you. But I thought it was worth mentioning, do my due diligence, let you know that it could maybe be good in the Mega Master League meta. So that about wraps up all I gotta say about Shadow Latios here. Overall, it's pretty interesting for the Great League PvP, and I really think that it's worth getting, if only for that. If nothing else though, Shadow Latios isn't redefining the meta or shaping up to be this like crazy Omega Galaxy brain type Pokemon. Uh, if you got any questions on this content, of course, comment below. Let me know what's up and I'll be happy to help you out. And if you enjoyed this kind of content you want to see more like it, well make sure to subscribe to Swag Tips. Swag Tips. I'd also like to give a special shout out to these Patreon supporters. If you want to support Swagman on Patreon, link in the description. The Swagman has returned. I have I have never left you guys. It's just that I've been quite busy for the past week and a half here. Uh, first off, after the Milwaukee tournament, like leading up to it, I moved a whole lot of my shifts to after the tournament, so I'd have time to practice leading up to the tournament, which means that after the tournament, I just worked a ton. And then on top of that, uh, if you recall from one of my earlier videos, I am moving soon, so I've been doing a lot of packing and a whole lot of prep stuff in regards to that as well. You can see that the the wall of plush. If this is your first Swag Tips video, usually that's just full of my fiance's merchandise. Uh, it's all packed up right now. Is she leaving me? No, but we are leaving this apartment. So yeah, so the videos are going to be a little bit sparse over the next month here, um, but I will still try to get them in here and there. I know a lot of people want to know about the Galar birds. People want to know about the new shadow Pokemon, and I'm also working on a XL Lickitung PVP IV deep dive. So those are things I do hope to accomplish over the month of July. Um, but yeah, Swagman, still alive.